so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division, and Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Too easy, Khabib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you, he'll tell you that he's gonna take you down, and he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up, and right away he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. Oh, roundhouse kick. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this, and that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Another big kick. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, has the guard closed here. Nurmago Medov's back in half goal. Mm, nice. All right, feet on the hips here. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Nice crack there. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow time. Big elbow land along the side of the guard. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round. And the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. He set up a beautiful submission. Oh, he's in trouble. guys are back and forth with submission defense wins this transition. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, this? you gotta shove that knee, John. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch are starting to land from the top position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmago Medov. In the half guard. All right, so some high level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there. But fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly, but today, it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful, 
they don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's to make you grapple with him. Nice positional control here. Use your hips to get back in the guard. Big ground and pound. Twenty seconds to go in round one. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Come on, come on. next. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Right back on those leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice jab, nice kick. Just misses with the jab there. Uppercut lands. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. In, oh, now he's attacking long drive. I think he's got it. It's deep. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Go. He's got to be careful here. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy come from evil when he's under attack. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting. Oh, yeah. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, big elbow. And Mitch is in a takedown. Why not? Medov's in half goal. Oh, right into Mount. Changing the position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Nermako Medov's looking for an arm bar here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Holding the position now. He's smart. He knows not to lose his position. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The 
crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. 90 seconds now to go round two. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so there it is again. Rinse, repeat, another takedown, just like we mentioned off the jump. This wrestler has been up in his opponent's face all night. Well, according to the game plan, it would be take this guy down and ground him out. It's exactly what he is doing. Every time he level changes, he gets to the hips, gets to his angle, and he secures these takedowns. He could not be happy. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, you know I don't like the key. Nermago Medov's going for a choke here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, man, that was slick. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Final seconds here of round two. Great timing on that double leg. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nermago Medov goes for the takedown and misses. Defensively responsible, nice block. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, big elbow. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Oh, Kimura attack. Yep. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he's fine for some sake. Right on the button. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Fast leg kick lands. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He's got that single collar tie. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cup. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Nice pass. Attempting a choke now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, submission defense holds up again. Be careful here. Oh, nice. And he is back up to his feet. Nurmago Medov gets caught by the inside leg. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. 
Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. He lands a big knee to the body. Nermanko Medov's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Takedown defense is there. Separate. Guess the single collar tie now. Hey, yeah, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get hit. Khabib's in half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Guys yeah, trying to get to the darts here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Numago Meta. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten done with the strike. He got it done for the strike. Fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from the close. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 10 seconds to go in the round. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. All right, that's three rounds what? in the books. We what? are headed to the championship rounds. Two rounds three. Nice job. Excellent submission attempt. It was very close. You tweaks like we used in the gym. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels, and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC, and he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job Ready. of finding his entries, Good. rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool. It's oh, now going to the judo. He ends up inside control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go brown and pound or he can chase submission. Nurmago Medov's in half guard now. Back to the feet now. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Big shots being landed on both sides here. What a beautiful body kick. Another big body kick lands. So Khabib Nago met all that his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown look. Khabib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's gonna do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true, because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. Looks to me like he's got that submission close. Starting to get deep. Looks like he's going to get the finish. It's got to be it. It seems so tight. Let's work. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Oh, doing work with the jab. 
He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. That's a beautiful body kick. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Just missed with the elbow there. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. All right, so he lands another takedown here, and he just continues to get his opponent to the ground. His opponent's done a pretty good job getting back to his feet, but can't stop the shot. It'll finally start to exhaust him if he constantly goes up and down, up and down. He's got to split those legs and defend those takedowns before his opponent gets started. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Nice punch from the clinch by Nermago Meta. Another takedown lands. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, that would be good. Come on, hold down. Keep on, keep on. Yep, and he's got him secure on the half guard now. Strong reversal there. Back to his feet. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Unable to connect with the right hook. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Big double leg level change. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head to lift his opponent onto his hip to chase his finish. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Under 30 seconds. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick. Oh, big left hook there. Rips the body there. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat the Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, 
The more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. There's that patented single. Nemanko Menov stacking half guard, very comfortable here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Khabib's going for the sub here. Oh, he's got the Kamora locked in. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Nurmagomedov gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Look at that. Quick finish. That was beautiful. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Three minutes now to go on the fight. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Good jab there by the champion. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing fun about it. It's not funny. This is not uh, a fun position to be in, in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move, make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter it. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nermanko Medov's in half goal. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Nermanko Medov's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. One minute to go in the fight. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, Darce Choke locked and loaded. Oh, great submission defense. Just work. I'll stand this up. You need to work. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do. Oh, and he locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across. He gets it across. He's going to start pulling down. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. We'll Ladies see how the judges saw it. After five Here is Bruce rounds, Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib